Hey everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Todd. This is the best of Melly Grant and Scandal Season 2. Now this is going to be interesting because I have not seen a lot of Melly Grant in any of the edits or the first episode that I watched. Let's go ahead and get started. You're the first lady. Your job is to plant gardens and decorate rooms and let them blog about your clothes. You're ornamental, not functional. So don't come into the Oval and try to use your brain because no one cares. Oh my God. Whoa. Well, that's a start. Holy cow. You always did know just the right way to hurt me. I am talking about Olivia Pope. You Ooh. took her hunting? Really, honey? She could be facing federal prison, but you needed to spend a few minutes with your girlfriend. Prison. That's... <laughs> it's sweet. If it didn't mean the end of your political career, because you won't make it to a second term, I will make sure of it. Because I need to make some plans for my political future. And I do have a bright, bright political future. The sweet lawyer who gave up her career for her husband, suffered a miscarriage, then had a late in life baby while well, first lady. That's gold. That's a future president. That's a hell of a second act, and America loves a second act. Melly. Get over her. Melly. Get over her! Oh my god. <laughs> you see her again, I'll blow you away. And I'm an excellent shot, remember. Six, Melly, everything is not a political move. Um... Honey, you are not some toothless mechanic from Indiana, and I am not some chunky girl from a trade. How does the Secret Service feel about <laughs> about that threat? <laughs> hmm, that's an interesting one. Miller Park. We didn't fall in love and get drunk and do it in the back of a pickup truck. This baby, bless its heart, is not ours. This baby is our patriotic duty. This baby was conceived in service to our country. This is America's baby. And Kimberly Mitchell is coming to watch us find out whether it's a boy or a girl because you are the leader of the free world. You couldn't keep your pants zipped and your hands to yourself. This baby is my way of giving you a little political bang for your buck. So tell me, do you like the red or do you like the yellow? Fitzgerald! Damn. There are nine other bedrooms in this place besides our room and this nursery. You are sweating up the baby's sofa. I will have to have it cleaned. If I sleep in one of the other bedrooms, the staff will know. So then they'll know. Really? If the staff knows, then the press will know in under 24 hours. Good for them. Really? You're fine with the press knowing that we don't sleep in the same bed? Tell the press that pregnancy is making me toss and turn, so you're sleeping in another bed so that I can be more comfortable. Tell them that you have been staying up late in bed, trying to come up with new ways to keep America safe and democratic and free, and you don't want to disturb my pretty little head with all that thinking. Or tell them that I don't want to spend my night sleeping next to a man who gets erections in his sleep, dreaming of Olivia Pope. Your choice. I don't care. <laughs> Relax, I'm kidding. Oh now. my god. What happened to my husband? Oh, wow. Who did he talk to? What put Fitz in such a terrible mood? Because when he left me to go hunting, he was smiling. I'm not gonna lie, that was amazing. <laughs> and when he came home, he wasn't. Oh, I'm sure we don't know, ma'am. You can't say. I understand. So, I am just going to say some things. And when I am correct, I'd like one of you to blink. That's all, just... Flutter your eyelashes for a girl. Ma'am. The president of France, East Sudan, Hollis Doyle, that guy on Fox News, his mother, Cyrus, Olivia Pope. Oh, I have something of yours. The Secret Service found it. You know how, right? He's on POTUS detail. He found it the night. <laughs> I have something of yours. I thought she was going to take off her wedding ring. <laughs> the president went to the National Archives to view the Constitution, which surprised me because if he'd gone to the National Archives to view the original Constitution of the United States, he would have invited his wife. But how said you were there? So. Really? I, I, we all want the same thing. You oh my God. and me, Cyrus, we are a team. We got him in the White House, and we are going to keep him here. 
We are doing our patriotic duty, serving our country, working for the greater good. We just go about it differently, I suppose. Like, it's like you didn't know him at all. Right. Yes. God, that was awkward. <laughs> was you thought so the two of you awkward. were partners. You thought the problems in your marriage were solvable. You thought, for better or worse, meant something. You thought no matter what, he'd be faithful. <laughs> Nancy, right now you are angry. <clears throat> right now you feel betrayed. But here's the thing. You are his partner. You are his wife. Some mistress doesn't change that. You made a mistake. You have to forgive him for it. You weren't wrong about him. You were just stronger than he was. And he's not a monster. He's the man you fell in love with. You have to bury the man that you married. Somewhere in all the cheating, Nancy is the man that you married. And you are his wife. I don't know. Skip this whole thing and went home. Is it the baby? You feeling okay? I feel fine. I just... What's the problem? I just don't want to go. I'm sick of smiling. I'm sick of acting like we're happy. I just don't want to go. Is it because she's going to be there, Olivia? She got cleared by security an hour ago, which I'm sure you know. Now suddenly you forced me to have this big party and you don't want to go because you're afraid of my mistress? Let me give you a fun fact. She's not my mistress anymore. So buck up. You're one. Let's not go. I don't want to go. I feel... I don't want to go. We can't always get what we want, can we? Oh, oh. oh my God. What a freeze frame on that, huh? <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. You know, I know where this show had such high ratings. It is jam-packed full of those moments, I'm assuming. <laughs> Link down below in the description for the original video, Go Throw Out Some Love. Holy hell, what a nightmare. I can't imagine being in her situation and being tied to someone that you just... does things that you just despise. You fall out of love. You hate them. You resent them. They make crazy comments to you about their mistress. Holy crap. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how I would deal with that. Would I break up the marriage to leave while my spouse was president? That's pretty tough. Well, you have to get your message out first and make it seem like that person drove the relationship off a cliff and you're doing it because you have to. Then again, a lot of people are still gonna hate you no matter what, you know? You'll have people that agree with your story, you'll have people that don't. So either way, it's kind of a loss. Honestly, I think I pity anyone that goes for that kind of positioning. It's just, it's rough. Everything you do has to be manufactured. Everything you say, everything you stand in front of, stand next to, who you shake hands with. Literally everything is under a microscope. <laughs> you got people leaking stories about you from your staff, your family, your long lost friends, whatever. Literally everybody is looking for an angle on you and to make money and headlines and press and a Pulitzer and whatever. Literally would not wish that on my worst enemy, which I don't have any enemies, so the saying is kind of moot, but uh, yeah, sentiments there though. Let me know your thoughts on Fitz and Melly down below in the comments. What a terrible situation to be in <laughs> and to have to see them all the time. That's the worst part, to pretend like nothing's happening because it will be a story, it'll be a scandal. It'll be a scandal. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. I will see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.
Thank you.